What's going on guys, Black Scout Survival. And I had a, a viewer or subscriber email me asking me, uh, they saw my photo on Instagram about my body armor <clears throat> and about home defense and that I keep um, uh, stuff by my bedside, you know, that I keep body armor by my bedside and, and et cetera. And uh, that come from Ricky B out of Seattle, Washington. Uh, thanks for your uh, question, Ricky. And yes, I do, I wanna do a quick video on it because other people may be curious too. And I just wanna show my body armor that I use. Um, now, this is a Premier body armor. It's a little bit more smaller, clean cut body armor than, than something like, you know, you may take to the range or, or wear in Afghanistan or something like that, you know. Uh, these are, you know, good to shoot with and stuff like that. But getting something like that on in the middle of the night from a dead sleep could be kind of difficult. And something with a little bit smaller profile, it just has the essentials on there for you. So I'll show you what it looks like on real quick. Make sure my microphone is not in the way or getting messed up. Uh, but anyhow, you see mine's multi-cam variety. They got a lot of different colors. But what I like about this is the slim profile. I wake up in the dead of night, hear something, uh, I can put on this real qu quick, no Velcro, just a click snap, boom, I got it all. Not a bunch of stuff to have to mess with. Keep one side um, clipped up, and then I can throw this on quickly. It's uh, small, so I can maneuver through my house. It's not gonna have pouches and everything like this, snagging onto things as I'm, you know, moving through uh, my house has just the essentials. Um, you can see my setup, I have a pistol mag, and uh, these are all held by Wilder Tactical, um, uh, I think it's uh, injection molded type stuff. Got an AR-15 mag and a tourniquet holder. I've also got a sock P, bladed weapon, something I can grab under duress with the ring and just you know start going to work. Um, Black Scout light, I can, you know, hook in here in the webbing so I can, you know, have everything there together. So I throw this on and I've got my, you know, mobile command center uh, per se, you know. Um, very uh, slim profile. The reason why I went with Premier Body Armor is because they are known for making some of the thinnest, lightest weight and curved um, plates, armor plates on the market. And you can see here, um, very small profile. What I like about this, I can put it in the accompanying bag. I can throw it in my vehicle, get underway, you know, drive around, have this with me in case an active shooter situation happens, something crazy. Uh, ISIS, you know, starts run, running the streets with uh, AKs. I got something I can put on. Now, I could have it loaded out with complete AR mags if I wanted to, uh, but, you know, me having a pistol, a rifle, I wanted to have it where I could, you know, have a reload for each one of those as well as what's on my person. And that's kind of like how I have this set up. Good thing about this is it comes with this case, so it kind of looks discreet. I mean, other than saying Premier Body Armor on there, which nobody may not pay that attention, you can carry it inside there. Throw it in your vehicle. It fits everything discreetly in here. You can throw a couple extra mags and stuff like that in there too. So you can have a few different items um, in there, kind of strictly, discreetly carry and be able to move your body armor without anybody even noticing that that's what you got in the, the bag. You can, you know, they got a few different things. You could put a pistol holster on here if you wanted to. You know, go ahead and throw that on the edge pistol, but I keep my concealed carry pistol right beside the bed. So I just have this beside the bed too and I can just throw this on. And like I said, I keep it minimal. I could have all kinds of stuff, chem lights and all kinds of crazy stuff, but this is for, you know, uh, home defense. I can throw on and, and I want every, you know, people might say that's crazy, but I want every um, advantage uh, in a fight. You know, there's no such thing as a fair fight. You know, um, I fight to win. so. Um, I want to have, you know, this uh, protection that the bad guy doesn't have. So, and I have everything here, stuff that I train with. So I have it on my person and, uh, you know, I know how to use it. I can use it under the duress, half asleep because I've trained with this type of setup, you know, professionally. So 
Um, it's, and it's good to do that if you're going to have this by your bedside of the range. I hear a lot of guys talking about why, you know, training and plate carriers and stuff like that. But if you're going to have it by your bed and you're going to be you doing under, under duress in a real situation, you know, and um, be prepared. So anyhow, guys, I hope you dig it. Like I said, I dig this. Um, it's pretty affordable considering a lot of other um, plate carriers on the market. And it's not as robust and crazy as a lot of the ones you see with pouches and everything, like you're about to go kick down doors or something. Uh, this is slim profile, gray man type deal. I could throw this a, j a jacket on over this and you wouldn't even know that I had this on uh, if I needed to. So anyhow, got the, just the essentials here. And um, like I said, I really dig these uh, carriers as well. And if you have any questions about my body armor, just let me know below. And as always, thanks for watching Black Scout Survival.